Long ago were the days when old played out Christmas films filled our hearts with holiday cheer, but then Netflix came along and was all, hold my eggnog, and basically just released enough movies so you won't even have to leave the couch your entire break. So get cozy and slip on those fuzzy socks because we're breaking down the 10 best Christmas movies released this year. What is up you guys, it's Susan Morad back here on Clever News and if you've been spending your holiday rummaging through Netflix trying to figure out what to watch the last couple of days of your Christmas vacation, don't worry, I got you. If you didn't know, well now you do know that there are two things Vanessa Hudgens aka The Hudge thrives in, Coachella Outfit Inspo and Holiday Rom-Coms. This year she stars in The Night Before Christmas and if you saw my interview with her last month about this film, you'd know already how much I love this movie. Who would be your dream celebrity crush to find under the mistletoe this holiday season? My boyfriend. Aww. <laughs> <laughs> like I don't want to kiss anyone else. <laughs> Are you okay? Fear not. I've been thrown much further by much faster horses than your steel steed. Vanessa plays a science teacher who falls in love with a medieval knight who somehow time traveled to the future. Honestly, this film has it all. Time travel, a knight in shining armor, laughs and tears, so make sure you add this one to your list. Another Netflix original called Holiday in the Wild stars Sex in the City's actress Kristen Davis where she sets off to Africa after a nasty divorce. She meets a handsome AF pilot, obviously played by Rob Lowe, and they probably fall in love after bonding over petting baby elephants, but the big question remains, does she move to Africa or return home? Netflix continues the holiday cheer with Let It Snow, a young adult flick where a bunch of teenagers fall in love with each other during a snowstorm in a small midwestern town. Have you ever been with someone and you stay up until like 4 a.m. just talking about everything and you're just like, I can't believe I get to exist at the same time as you? No, but like I'm really happy for you. Ah, uh, yes, we have literally nothing in common, but being stuck in a small town and forced to talk to you is actually making me like your story. Yep, count me in. So if you feel the need to stray from Netflix and dabble in the Hallmark holiday rollout, be sure to check out Christmas Under the Stars starring Jesse Metcalf and y'all, this is your chance to figure out what the heck John Tucker has been up to all of these years. Jesse plays your typical finance dude who loses his job and has to start working at a Christmas tree lot where he of course finds true love. Alexa, play Rihanna's We Found Love in a Hopeless Place. Disney Plus also took a page out of the cheesy feel-good holiday goldmine as Anna Kendrick stars in Noel. Now Anna plays Noel Kringle, aka Santa Claus's daughter, alongside Bill Hader who plays her brother. Noel, will your brother be ready by Christmas? Of course, he's a Kringle. I don't want to do this. No. This. this is great. No. This is great. No. Let it happen. Ah. First off, this is the duo I never knew I needed until now, but basically Noelle has to save Christmas after her brother gets cold feet of filling the massive shoes of his father. Gotta love a solid female saves the day film, am I right? Kelly Rowland is taking a stab at the seasonal cinema world. She is set to star in a lifetime film called Merry Little Christmas about a happily single, career-driven, independent woman. See what I did there? She will have to fight the urge to fall for her new neighbor while home with her family for the holidays. Something tells me that Kelly is definitely not ready for this jelly. Next up, name a better duo than the holidays and the royals. I realize it's an impossible task because it's just not possible, you guys. Netflix is releasing the third installment of A Christmas Prince, but this time with the royal baby. This one is definitely a must watch. Another Netflix must watch is Holiday Rush, aka one of those hashtag grateful, hashtag blessed sort of feel good films. When a single dad loses his job, he and his four kids are forced to move in with their aunt when they discover the true meaning of Christmas as they adjust to a new non bougie lifestyle. I'm sensing a tear joker coming on you guys. So if you're headed to the theaters this Christmas and if you're truly missing seeing Amelia Clark on your TV screen, she's going a little less calculated Khaleesi and a little more not so calculated Christmas elf. In Last Christmas, Amelia plays a frustrated department store worker who meets a random hottie who's too good to be true. Whoa! <gasps> you! Again. What do you mean again? Did you follow me here? Are elves always so cynical? Yes. Relentlessly, these are dark times. Although this may seem like your typical run-of-the-mill holiday rom-com, I should warn you that there's a twist at the end that you may not be so prepared for. But did you guys really think I'd get through this list of Christmas movies without mentioning Frozen 2? Anna and Elsa are returning to the big screen and just in time for new music once Santa Baby gets old. 
The two, along with Olaf, Kristoff and Sven, are out to save their kingdom once again and obviously make more memories along the way and I've never been more ready for something in my life. And that concludes our list of the best Christmas movies you should definitely have already tuned into or have added to your list. But right now, you guys, I want to know which movie you're most excited to see or which one you might have already watched a second time or a third time or maybe even a fourth time. Get to talking in the comment section below. And while you're down there leaving comments, you guys, hit that subscribe button right there and also hit the bell to be notified the second we post a new Clever News update. After that, you can catch up on all the news you missed right over here. I'm Susan Morad. Thanks for hanging out with me and I'll catch you later. Bye, guys.